Good morning and welcome to our spring preview online. My name is Nicholas Conlin and I am the Visit Experience Coordinator here at Humboldt State University. I just wanted to say hello, introduce myself, and tell you a little bit about what you're going to expect to see in the videos right after my welcome. So these are in-depth academic tours, which means that we have taken you inside of spaces that you don't normally get to see. And I'm talking about pretty exclusive, unique spaces that students who come to campus for a regular physical tour don't even get to see. We were given the ability and the access to really take you uh, on a unique experience that will show you what you can expect here at Humboldt State. For some of you, you're gonna get to see really uh, cool and unique labs and other places where you can perform experiments and really enhance your academic experience. For others, you're going to see spaces that encourage you to come up with the coolest art project you can think of and be involved in as much musical talent as you can. And then even beyond on that for others you're going to see spaces that really encourage you to challenge the way you think and view the world so we're excited to be able to bring you this content we hope that you enjoy it and we want you to know that Humboldt State will be here for you in the fall and that we're not going anywhere enjoy hi guys my name is my and welcome to Humboldt State University right now I'm going to be showing you our uh, education department so right now we're sitting outside of Harry Griffith Hall um, our education that you can focus in elementary education, secondary education, and special, special education. So let's go take a look inside. So our education students have the opportunity to work in a variety of different schools within the area. So again, whether you want to focus in elementary education, or secondary education, or special education, you have their opportunity to do hands-on work right here in the area. So right now we're standing in between Harry Griffith Hall and our child development lab, which is kind of the focal point for our child development major. And with our child development major, there are three different uh, pathways that you can take. There's the education pathway, the child and family services pathway, and our specialized study pathway. So let's go take a look inside the child development lab. Our child development lab is actually a functioning preschool with one-way mirrors all along this wall so that our child development majors can do study work in here. And so an example of a pretty cool study that was done is a student took away all the toys in here except for one and used these mirrors to watch how the children uh, managed to share that one toy. So within kinesiology, we have three different concentrations. We have exercise science, pre-physical therapy, and teaching and coaching. And a cool thing about our exercise science concentration is that there are a ton of different labs that you can do work in, which are the biomechanics lab, we have the human performance lab, behavioral performance lab, and our concussion center, where you can get tested for concussions. So right now we're standing in our center activities lounge, and we're here to talk a little bit about our recreation administration major. So with that major, you can can focus in three different areas, outdoor adventure, tourism management, and scuba, but we'll dive into scuba a little bit later. Um, some cool opportunities that our recreation administration students have is you can coach for um, our intramural and clubs teams. Um, you can have a lot of jobs through center of activities, whether it's leading people through outdoor adventures in our redwoods, which are right here in our backyard, or through other trips and activities that they do. So right now we're sitting inside of our pool where we offer scientific scuba diving for our recreation and administration students. A cool thing about the scientific scuba diving program is that uh, within your first class that you take here, you become scuba certified. So you can go to any scuba shop and rent gear, but after you finish the major, you're actually scientific scuba certified. And that goes hand in hand with things like marine biology and stuff like that. So you can actually go into the water and do your own research. HSU actually trains more scientific divers than any other CSU within the system. Our divers have the opportunity to dive in places like Fort Bragg, Monterey, and even Catalina Island through the Wrigley Institute. So this pool isn't just used for a scientific scuba diving program. It's also open for students to use, whether it's just uh, open hours for laps, or we also teach swimming classes all the way from beginners to advanced. We also have a lifeguard certification program where you can get certified to become a lifeguard. Within kinesiology, we have our human performance lab, which is pretty much this big area right here, where all of our students are able to 
uh, study human performance and not only uh, subjects of athletes that attend school here, but also other individuals from the community or even if you just work out on your daily lives. We have your students come in here, test out what's good for you and how your body works when we're exercising. So now we are within our biomechanics lab. Uh, even though we have our human performance labs, we also have this uh, corresponding to that. The reason why we have this is so that we're able to see how our body moves. If you ever looked into the backgrounds of how movies are made, you see those little white balls on people's bodies. Uh, we exactly do that the exact same way here. And we just do that with all these cameras all around us. Right here, this is our pressure plate where we, this is worth thousands of thousands of dollars. But one amazing thing about this is that it's not only for graduate students, it's specifically for our undergraduate students who are focusing within physical therapy or any type of athletic uh, studies. So that over there is that's where we have most of our lectures and students are able to easily come over here and help our students figure out why we limp, why we do have these certain injuries and how we can help them and not only for our students but also for our community. Right now we're sitting outside of the Behavior Social Sciences building, also known as the BSS. It's home to 11 different majors, with psychology being the only one in the College of Professional Studies in this building. At the uh, psychology department here, we have two different pathways that you can take, both the graduate pathway and the non-graduate pathway. They help prepare you for what you're going to do once you graduate Humboldt State University. Well, that's enough talk for now. Let's head inside and see the actual department itself. So right now we're sitting outside of the actual Department of Psychology on the fourth floor of the BSS. Over here you can see we have listed all the different staff and faculty of the Psychology Department. Um, let's take a look inside. This is the actual department itself. It's very office-like. This is where you would come to get advising on what classes you should be taking in order to graduate within four years. Every semester you have mandatory advising that goes over your plan for classes for the next four years. And um, it can help you figure out what classes you wanna be taking to dip into different areas of psychology. For example, I know I'm gonna be, a, next semester I'll be taking an assortment of different classes like introduction to neuroscience, um, I'll be taking social psychology, um, we have cognitive psychology, there's substance use and addiction classes, there's, um, and tons of different other ones for your interests. So right now we're standing inside of one of our research labs for the psychology department. It's a space where students can come and work together, whether you're a graduate or an undergraduate student, whether it be homework, you're doing a, a project together, or just want to study together. This is a space that we have available for all of our students. Right now we're standing inside one of our observational rooms. Um, so you can see it is equipped with one-way mirrors so that you can look through them, but the person behind them cannot look through and they cannot see you. It is really nice for observational studies where you want to observe the behaviors of other people without the influence of your presence. Alright, so now we're outside of the Department of Social Work, which is one of the most competitive uh, majors here at HSU, and students have the opportunity to get a lot of, of hands-on learning opportunities, and we have three different uh, pathways which students could choose to go from. They could go with the family pathway, academic pathway, or they could go to the master's pathway. Within our business and economics department, our business major specifically has five different emphases, but some of those emphases include management, marketing, and international business. Our business program focuses on making sustainable and um, economically responsible business student leaders, which is something that's really important to us here at HSU in general, as well as our economics department focuses mainly on social economics and political economics and things like that. So something else that's really cool about our business and economics department is the fact that we get to pair up with Google and Google puts together this uh, widespread kind of competition where different um, individuals from HSU get to share their business ideas. And we've actually had one of our coworkers, who is Daniel, um, win one of these competitions. So if you want to see more about his information or anything like that, you can probably check our webpage. 